roadway, this is part of their property. You cannot be on the grass, it's part of their property. The only place you can be is on the sidewalk. Okay. You cannot be on the parkway, it cannot be where you're standing right now. And please tell me that's just grape juice in your glass. It is. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's all I want. I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. But that's But that's all I ask. Other than that, I think things are going to run extremely smooth. Okay. Thank you, folks. Thank you. Yes, We're here yes. because we want jobs. There's so many, there's unemployed people throughout Kenosha. There aren't any good jobs. We're trying to meet with Paul Ryan, but he's here at a country club, just like he was having $700 wine with lobbyists in D.C. So unemployed, there's unemployed people here who have been wanting to meet with Paul Ryan. Scott, you want to talk, to say your story about how you, you've been trying to meet with Ryan? I've actually sent a letter to Ryan. He has not responded to me as of yet. <clears throat> Um, I'm an unemployed worker from Wisconsin here, from his district, and I actually had to train my counterparts from China and Mexico to take my job. Um, I wanted to see and ask Paul Ryan, if I could get close enough to him, how his policies are supposed to help me and how they're going to put it, help me find a job and put bread on my table, help me support my family. I, I don't see it in his plan, in his policies. So I'm very curious to talk to him to see if he'll even have the time between wine tastings and big corporate dinners and luncheons to uh, actually sit and talk with his constituents and see what we actually want him to, rep how he, we want him to represent us. So hopefully that'll work out today. I'm here today, I've been unemployed for around three years. I was working in education, but the only jobs I could find were in Illinois. I've lived in Kenosha all my life. What I wonder is where are the jobs in Kenosha? Where are the jobs for me that I don't have to drive 28 miles to when gas is $4 a gallon? It's, um, I, as far as I've seen, most of the education jobs in, in Wisconsin are getting cut. So. I'm just wondering, Paul Ryan, what are you going to do for me? You're doing enough for uh, corporate interests and everyone else, and if you're cutting these corporate taxes, where are the jobs? You guys keep saying they can't pay as much tax as us. Well then, where's our jobs? I also am here because I'm unemployed and looking for work for the past six months and asking also, Paul, where are the jobs? In fact, yesterday I went online on Paul Ryan's site and he has a place for you to email um, opportunity to meet with him which I wrote him a, a email and and uh, click the button and we're gonna see if he meets with me um, I'm told other people have gotten back an automated response saying uh, I'm pretty busy and my schedule doesn't allow me to meet with with constituents right now um, that might be um, the word wording might be a little different but that's the the input part input that people have gotten from his previous communications responding to constituents. I'm thinking a better approach than pouring money to all these corporations to develop jobs is why not develop individual workers through offering uh, training reimbursements right, through the right. state. Now that'll never happen but at least that would be better than what we have right now. Um, I'm here today because for the first time in my life, I can't support my family. Uh, three years ago in 2000, I'm sorry, two years ago in 2009, I was laid off after 10 years with my company. Uh, 18 months later, January of this year, I was hired part-time for less than half my salary with no benefits. And last week I was let go. The state of Wisconsin has told me that I do not qualify for any unemployment, that I have tapped out the resources. So I now have no income and I'm here and I want to know from Paul Ryan, my congressman, what he's going to do to help me, to help other families that are just like me, that have been cut off of unemployment, that don't have a job, that don't have enough money to put food on the table for their children. That's why I'm here. What do we want? Jobs! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Jobs! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Jobs! When do we want them? Now! What do we want? Jobs! When do we want them? Now! No cuts! Jobs now! No cuts! Jobs now! No cuts! Jobs now! No cuts! Jobs now! Stronger! One day longer! One day stronger! One day longer! Stronger. We're able to be well organized. We can push for certain issues and, and get justice out of it. No matter if you're a Democrat or Republican, 
they got to do the right thing no matter what, and we just got to keep pushing whoever it is and hold whoever is in, in, in office accountable. Corporate interest first. Ryan Ryan, he's the worst. He puts corporate.